Whatever I ask you, answer it in a question. Okay. Who was the first to get on Powell? No, you're supposed to say, I was the first to get on Powell. Those four guys in Band This was a breakthrough moment. These were street kids. This was a whole new thing. I trusted Stacy and I saw these guys and I'm like, yep, these are the kids. They were just somebody you totally could relate to, but they were just better, obviously. <laughs> That was a routine, you know, waiting for the bus, might as well skate. And as I'm watching them do this, I'm thinking to myself, this is everything we're trying to promote in skateboarding right now. The first day of filming with Stacy is kind of like the first day of school for me, like super nervous. Guy was didn't have as much power back then, so we would always push him. Other people, like a lot of other people, like you don't even know how crazy your dad is. Five times a day you were like, I'm gonna do this or die, you know? <laughs> like literally skate or die, you know? <laughs> we would hear about who did what and who did this. It was always Paulo Diaz, Paulo Diaz, Paulo Diaz. I thought he was like the chupacabra or something. What does that say? Mariano, you know, like marinara sauce. I don't know why, I just said it came out. For what they did in that moment in time, it was cutting edge. What was special about those guys, you could tell that these dudes were brothers. Street skating is when skateboarding found its own voice. And that's what Guy, Rudy, and Gabriel, and Paulo, that's what they represented. They really represented that new voice that in fact, during the 90s, became the voice of skateboarding.